Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, I am going to be giving you my updated Ethereum price prediction. I'm going to be telling you where I think Ethereum is going over the month of October. Yesterday, I broke down where I think Bitcoin is going and why I think it is going to be heading above $55,000 in the month of October. And today, I'm going to be breaking down why I believe that a $4,000 Ethereum might be right around the corner. You're not going to want to miss this content, so make sure you stay tuned before we get started. If you enjoyed today's video, Make sure, as always, to smash that like button. It helps us in the algorithm if you think other people should see this content. And make sure to subscribe to the fastest growing technical analysis channel here in crypto. Without much further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. There's a very simple fact that we need to accept about Ethereum. It's in a descending trading channel. What does this mean? It means that Ethereum is moving to the downside, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to. In fact, it obviously doesn't. Eventually, Ethereum is going to bounce and rally. Whether it happens today or a month from now, eventually a bounce and a rally will occur. What we need to do is we need to figure out when does that reversal happen? happen well on the daily chart i have shown you guys this many many times ethereum has a downtrending level of support on its rsi uptrending level of support on its daily chart that rsi divergence is indicating that we should be moving to the upside furthermore on the daily chart rsi and macd we see convergence there is convergence on the macd indicating that we should be moving to the upside and having a cross in the next several days so the macd is very bullish the rsi is also sitting down here around 40 it means that we're quite over that we are quite bearish at the moment but it also means that we are not so bearish that we're confidently down below 30. it means that we're bearish yes but that we don't have a ton of exuberance. You can almost think about it like this, the zero or the 50 level, the midline here on RSI is neutrality. And the further away you get from it, the more bullish or the more bearish you get. Right here, we're only sitting at 40 on the RSI. So it means that we are bearish, but not by a large margin. One thing I want to show you is the fact that Lux Algo did flash a sell signal after we broke below a critical level of support. It's this one right here. That is the neckline of our head and shoulders pattern that I've shown you guys recently. That sell signal does have an implication for the market. And the most important implication is we need to get back up above this uptrending level of support and then that sell signal will likely turn into a buy signal, which basically means our uptrending level right here is a critical level of resistance that we need to be paying attention to. If Ethereum then can break above this downtrending level of resistance, hold this uptrending level of support, and then rally to this uptrending level of previous support that is now resistance, then there is potential that Ethereum could have a major turnaround. Let's go ahead and look down here on the four hourly chart and hopefully get some more context for that. Going ahead and cleaning up our chart here, we can see that we are currently just like on Bitcoin in a symmetrical triangle pattern down here on the shorter term time frames. We have a downtrending level of resistance that's been in play for weeks. We have an uptrending level of support that's been in play for a very long time as well with four touches right Right down here. In fact, this market looks almost identical to Bitcoin. So our conclusions are going to be very similar. Right now, Ethereum has roughly a week and a half before its trend line of resistance converges with its trend line of support, and then Ethereum either chooses to break down or break up. I personally believe, based off of all the technical analysis I've done on Bitcoin, based off of all the on-chain analysis I've done, off of all the fundamentals, off of all the news, off of the money flow, off of the flows out of exchanges, off of everything that I am looking at, I would be here for three hours if I repeated myself on everything. I think that Ethereum is going to break to the upside. I think it's going to break this downtrending level of resistance. It's going to be moving back up above $3,000 up into this $3,100, $3,200 territory. And I think that we are going to be touching this uptrending level of resistance in the next 14 days. What that will look like is either one, we will break up here, test this resistance, pull to the downside and rally, or we will just straight up test the resistance, break it and then rally. But no matter which way we go, we are likely to see a move right up here to this uptrending level of resistance and a touch of resistance right around $3,030. That's where I think we're heading in the next 14 days. But also keep in mind, there is a critical level of support here on Ethereum that we want to make sure we're looking at, and it is this. It was support. It is now resistance. It is our double top that we have tested recently. It's 3162, and if we bring up our VPVR, we can also see that it is roughly the center level of all of our VPVR support. If we're able to get above this zone right around 3150 to 3230, 
this zone, then we're off to the races. Why? Because it means that we have broken above the most important level that we need to get above so that we can go into an uptrend. I hope that makes sense to you. If we break 3160 to 3230, I'll go ahead and draw this zone right here, then we're very likely going to see a move to the upside as the volume as the volatility would be on the side of the bulls and the strength would be on the side of the bulls as well. So, let's wrap this all up into a nice neat bow. Where are we going to be by the end of October? Where are we going to be on Halloween day? I believe that Ethereum is going to be trading around $4,000. I'm going to show you here in just a second why I think that is the case. But I think we're going to move sideways in the symmetrical triangle pattern for up to a week. Then we're going to have a bullish breakout. Then we're going to be testing that critical zone of resistance around 3160 to 3230. Then we're going to break an uptrending level of resistance that's around 3300. And then from there, guys, we're in an uptrend. It means that we'd be in the third leg of a wave to the upside that we've been through in the last three months, and we will be looking pretty. So the final point I want to make here is this. Where does that $4,000 number come? Well, if we look here at Ethereum, we can see that our previous high right here is $4,000. I think that we are going to be up here, probably something like this, testing this $4,000 region, but I don't know that we will have broken it by the end of October. I think it might take a little bit longer before we can break that level of resistance. I think we're going to see an uptrending level of support form based off of this level. Then we're going to move the entire market into an ascending triangle pattern and break to the upside, but I think that is going to take a little bit longer than the end of November. So I am predicting that we're going to be around $3,800 to $4,000 right up here testing this resistance by the end of the month. So that's my price prediction on Ethereum. I want to hear yours, though. Let me know in the comments down below. Give me an Ethereum at and then followed by the number that you think it's going to be at, the dollar value you think it will be at by August, not August, October 31st. They sound similar. October 31st, 2021. Where is Ethereum going? 4,000, 3,000. I want to hear it. Drop it down below. If you guys enjoyed today's show, make sure to follow us on our social media. You can find all those links down below. We're everywhere. We're on Spotify for our coffee and crypto. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We are everywhere. So make sure to go and follow us. I'm at CryptoGeb most places. And also make sure to sign up for Lux and Algo and CT2A. Those are two big reasons that this channel is able to continue to bring you the content that we do. Those two things help us to stay in business. So check out those links down below if you haven't already. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.